If you're locked away at home, then chances are you're going to be spending more time on your mobile. So you might want to give your best mobile games library a refresh. So here are the 10 best graphics games for your mobile, which you will really enjoy it a lot. But before starting this video, let me introduce today's sponsor, Circle Spin. This is an endless challenging game, which is free to play for everyone. It can accompany you to spend boring or spare time during the day. The gameplay of this game is very simple, where you have only thing to do that tap on the circle ball after aiming it towards the outer colored circle ball and destroy as many as you can to gain points. The game also features minimal graphics with awesome soundtracks and the size of this game is so small that it doesn't hurt your battery life or phone space. Starting off with number 10, we have Path of Titan. It's a survival MMO game that allows you to be a virtually dinosaur. In this MMO game, you'll choose from a wide range of dinosaur to control and do everything to live. However, your dinosaur will be put in a rich ecosystem in a vast environment, and you are not the only dinosaur here. You are just one of 200 players that also strive to survive in this world. That's when the most important things when it comes to survival kicks in, eating and drinking. Additionally, the game supports cross-play between PC and mobile. Move on to number 9, we have Dirt Bike Unchained. This is a bike racing game published by Red Bull, where you will play with some of the world's most extreme mountain bikers and compete against other players around the world on the beautiful trails in the desert, swamp, and forest. Engage with Red Bull athletes, get real brand bikes and gear. The graphics of this game is really outstanding and you can play it only by one finger. Also, you can perform various types of stunt and wheelie through your bike in this game. Overall, this game is full of action and excitement. Down to number 8, we have Endless Nightmare 3D Creepy. It's a great horror game for true fans of the genre. In the game, you should also keep your eyes open for the ghost. Run immediately if you meet her. Hiding closet or under the bed are good ways to get rid of her. So why I recommend to play this game because the atmosphere. If you like horror, then this game will keep you in suspense. By the way, your nerves too and also because of developers too. They listen to players and make changes to it, so the game is constantly evolving. Moving right along to number 7 with Sky Combat. This is one of the best free-flying games on our list and its flight physics, huge range of authentic aircraft and realistic ballistics modeling are the proof. In Sky Combat, you can jump in the cockpit of Jet Fighter and help out the battlefield by strafing heavy jets and performing airstrikes. The flight physics and depth of mechanics don't compare to some of the hardcore games on the list and free price tag makes this one easily worth checking out. Number 6 we have The Hunter Game, allows players to explore more than a dozen enormous maps across a hundred missions, hiking up hillsides and creeping through brush in hopes of sighting and shooting their intended targets. Players can move around and explore in first-person perspective, then use rifle scopes once prey has been spotted. Fundamentally, the gameplay isn't so different from a stealth sniper title. The goal is to move carefully and deliberately through an area without being spotted and then get a clean, vital shot. Down to number 5, The Greater Good. It's a stylized, full-fledged adventure turn-based RPG that was on Steam, is now on MOBO. The Greater Good takes place in a futuristic fantasy setting and features stylized visuals and a full soundtrack featuring 29 tracks composed by developer himself. In addition, the game offers an overworld map and explorable towns and cities like the more typical isometric RPGs do. 
To put it in a more mobile context, it reminds me a lot of a mix between sword and sorcery. So if you're digging what you've seen of the greater good so far as well, then check it out. At number 4 we have Gumslinger. This is a funny casual arcade game in which you have to play the role of a classic gummy cowboy character and shoot down the opponent first, before he shoots down you. The game also features a wide variation of skill shot missions and many widely different types of guns which make this game more funny and relaxing. So if you want to relax your brain, then definitely try this game at least once. Moving right along to number 3 with Crash Bandicoot Mobile. It's a free-to-play endless runner game. It features the likes of Mudigan Ant, Scorporilla, Nitrous Brio, Dingo Dial, and more as you dodge, slide, and run through various locations on Woompa Island. Crash and Coco have teamed up to find Neo Cortex's minions across the multiverse. There's also base building as you upgrade Coco's base. If you'd like to check it out, and it's available in your region. At number two, we have Beyond Blue. Beyond Blue takes you into the near future where you'll have the opportunity to explore the mysteries of our ocean through the eyes of Mirai, a deep sea explorer and scientist. You and your newly formed research team will use groundbreaking technologies to see, hear, and interact with the ocean in a more meaningful way than has ever been attempted. The game features an evocative narrative, exploration of an untouched world, an adventure that challenges the player to make high-stakes decisions during the crew's expedition. In short, the game has top-tier graphics with fantastic storyline, which will really impress you. Approaching Humpback M2. Looks like he's on a date. It's like they're dancing to his song. Finally, at number 1, we have Area F2. It's a shooting game on mobile that does its job well. Players who want to take a Rainbow Six Sage on the go should definitely take a look at this one. The gameplay is pretty simple. You play as a member of a five-man fire team. Your team and the enemy team will take turns playing as offense or defense. In addition, there's a lot of potential for this game to eventually become an esports title if enough people play it. But is it a CODM killer? Don't bet on it. Alright guys, as I really hope you enjoyed the video, and if you're new around here, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, would really mean a lot to me. Look at you guys in the next one. You